Surecart is a fantastic cart checkout solution that works really well with Thrive Apprentice to sell courses or memberships or whatever it is that you're selling and protecting inside of Thrive Apprentice. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the methods that you can use to connect Surecart with Thrive Apprentice to start this process. But before we jump in, I do want to add one disclaimer, and that's that I'm using the free version of Surecart, which is still early in its launch, and I'm also using the beta version of Sure Triggers, made by the same company that makes Surecart, and Sure Triggers is what's going to allow us to make that integration. Now, at the time of recording this video, Sure Triggers is still in beta. It's coming out soon, but it is still a beta, so what you're going to see could change, and if it does, I will of course make more videos. And I also want to let you know that this particular method I'm showing you uses the webhook functionality. Don't get scared, webhooks are pretty easy, and they're fully supported by Thrive inside of Thrive Automator, and fully supported by Sure Triggers. But Sure Triggers, Sure Cart, that, that company, right, is making an integration for Thrive Apprentice. And that's not out yet, but once that is available, I will create a video to show you that additional method. That doesn't mean that's the only method because webhooks are still fully supported and they give you a lot of functionality that you can use to basically integrate Surecart and your sales funnel for that matter with just about anything else out there. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at how to connect Surecart with Thrive Apprentice. So the first thing you have to do is you have to create your product inside of Surecart. Once you have a product created, we're going to go to Sure Triggers. Now you can access Sure Triggers in a couple of different ways, but right now, in the time of making this video, there is a Sure Triggers option on the left-hand side. I'll click on that, and what it's doing here is it's loading in the Sure Triggers interface as a headless solution. Now I've mentioned this a couple times in my other Surecart videos, but this is basically just framing in the Surecart website inside of your WordPress website. All of this crunching and data and basically everything and all the heavy lifting is on the sure trigger side. What you're seeing here is just think of it like a window and you're peering into the sure triggers application. So none of this is actually on your site, but it feels like it is. That's that's what a headless plugin is. So to get started, we're going to use sure triggers paired with Thrive Automator in order to link these two ecosystems together. So let's go ahead and get started in Sure Triggers. And to do that, I'm going to click on Create a New Automation. I'm going to give my automation a name. I'm just going to call this one a Test Demo, right? It doesn't matter. Click Save. You would name yours something like whatever your product is and connecting it to Thrive Automator. For our trigger, we're going to add a trigger, and that's going to be a Surecart trigger because we're connecting our Surecart form to Thrive Apprentice. So you can see here they integrate with a lot of things at Sure Triggers. It's kind of like a Zapier type solution, but we're going to look for Surecart. There it is. We'll click on that. And the option we're going to choose is when a user purchases a product and the connection will be with our Surecart installation and the product will be, we're going to choose Convology Pro for this demo. Next, we're going to click Save. Now we're going to add another action. And for this action, I actually recommend adding a wait action. I don't know if that makes it an action, but it's gonna be a wait. So we're gonna wait until uh, days, they need to change this word, this is just wait until, uh, and then or wait a specific amount of time. We're gonna delay this by, let's choose our unit here, seconds, and I like to wait about 20 seconds. This could be 15, but 20 just seems like a good number to me. Now the reason we're waiting for this 20 seconds is, well, for a couple of reasons. One, Surecart is going to create the account for the user, and, it's on your WordPress website, which means it happens fairly instantaneous. Well, Thrive Automator is also on your website and we're going to use a trigger in there or a condition and an action that's going to do some checks. And if we fire those two things right at the same time, they can kind of get confused like which one's supposed to go first. And I found during my testing, and I've been testing this now for about two weeks, I have found that a 20 second wait time is a great sweet spot that should be perfectly good for, for all hosts. It just gives you enough time for these two things to sync together. All right, the next thing we want to do is add another action here, and we're going to look for webhooks. So let's scroll down and webhooks, there it is, and click send data to a webhook. For us, we're going to create a new webhook and we're going to give our webhook identifier a name. Now, this is a little bit different. You don't usually see this on a lot of different platforms, uh, but webhook identifier is a way for sure triggers to basically save your webhook to be reused in the future. 
This webhook is going to be a URL given to us by Thrive Automator that we're going to use to uh, basically enroll a user in our product. Now, if we wanted to reuse this, let's say with another trigger inside of Sure Triggers, we would just look for it by name. But let's go ahead and give this a name. We'll just call this demo test again, keeping consistent. And now we need the URL. So let's go to Thrive Automator and start the setup on that side because we kind of have to keep these two setups concurrent. Okay, I have Thrive Automator open in another tab. Again, like I said, we want to stay concurrent on these. We're doing them at the same time. You can see here, I still have this one open and now I have this one open over here. And we're going to set up our trigger. And since we're sending data to a webhook, our trigger needs to be an incoming webhook. Now here's our URL, super convenient. Let's just copy that, clicking the copy button jump back over to our sure triggers tab and paste in our URL. While we're here, let's choose our payload type. JSON is a great one to use. Go ahead and choose that. And then under request method, go ahead and choose post. This part of the process should start to feel a little familiar if you've ever used webhooks before. Now we also need to add fields. So click add field and we're going to add a couple of different fields. First, for sure, we want to add the customer email. That's a field. Let's add two more and I want to capture the first name and the last name of my customer. Now we can define our fields and then we'll just go put those in over at Thrive Automator. So let's make this customer underscore email and make this one customer underscore first underscore name and make this one customer underscore last underscore name. Now these could have been whatever you wanted them to be, but I like to keep it consistent with what they've given me on the right hand side just for, just for ease of use. Now with those created, let's jump back over to our Thrive Automator tab and click this listen button because we're basically going to tell Thrive Automator, get ready, these are the variables we want you to use. So click listen, jump back over to our other tab and let's go ahead and click test action. There we go, test successful, jump back over and there it is, customer email text, customer first name text, etc. We do want to make one change for customer email that is not text, that is dynamic mapping email. Basically, it's going to map the email that's sent by Sure Triggers from Surecart to Thrive Automator. And it's going to say, and we want it to interpret that this is the email on the account in WordPress. So we're going to leave that right there as email. The rest of those, totally fine. We can go ahead and click done. Now we need to click another action here inside of Thrive Automator. And once again, if you've done this with me before, this part's going to look familiar. We're going to click on WordPress and then click find or create a user. And we are finding a user, hence the 20 second wait time here, because we've created a user in Surecart and sold our product. Sure Triggers is saying, hey, somebody just bought your product. I'm gonna send that data over to Thrive Automator. Thrive Automator is going to say, great, I just caught all this data you sent me. Who do I assign it to? Ah, I assign it to this email address, which is associated with this user. That's kind of our flow. So with that flow in mind, let's go ahead and map the first name and last name, which we brought over as webhook data. And last name, we've got our first and last name in. Go ahead and click done. Let's add another action. And this time we're going to do a Thrive Apprentice action and we're going to grant access to a product. And for us, let's just go ahead and choose Convology Pro to keep it consistent and then click done. Now from here, you could add additional actions. I like to keep things inside of Thrive Automator. It's one of my platforms of choice. So you could connect in Fluent CRM or Active Campaign or ConvertKit or MailerLite at this point. You would do that as another action. And what's really cool is you can just keep on passing these variables down the chain uh, and they'll work just fine. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Simple buy a product, give access to a product. But now we need to do two more things. We need to give this automation a name. So we'll call this SureCart to Sure Triggers to Convology Pro, right? You can name it whatever you want. This is for your own purposes. Go ahead and hit enter. And then the top right, click on active and then click on save and finish. All right, we're not done just yet. Come back on over to the Sure Triggers tab. Almost done. Go ahead and scroll down to save, click save. And then now let's take a look at this. When the user purchases a product, wait 20 seconds, send data to our webhook. And we just went through the Thrive Automator side. So everything should be good to go. On this end, when you're ready, go ahead and click publish. Now let's talk about something really quick here. The user is being created by Surecart. And if you've set it up this way, which I recommend you do, the form for Surecart is going to have them create a password. So you don't need to send the email from 
Thrive Apprentice to create their account. This is one of my favorite parts of the Surecart setup because I no longer have to send the user an email with their login with a password they didn't choose in addition to the email I'm sending them from ActiveCampaign, welcoming them to my membership. So I do wanna point out inside the form, I feel it's pertinent to this tutorial here, how to make sure you have that set up properly. So you already have a product, we used that to set up all of these automations, and now you need to make sure that you've assigned that product to a form, which we're gonna go ahead and do right now. You can come to Surecart Forms and click Add New, or if you've already started this process like I have, go ahead and edit one of your existing forms. The first thing I like to do when editing a form is up at the top to the left of the Launch Thrive Architect button is to click the list view. And this gives you a list that you can then drop down on the form where you can see all of the different blocks inside of your Surecart form. Now you can see here, I have a password field, but if I didn't have a password field to add that, I would just come to the area where I want to add it, hover over there with my mouse until I see the little add block button, go ahead and click on that. And then right there you can see is the password field. If you don't see that, you can click Browse All on the left-hand side, find the Surecart section, find the little fingerprint icon and the word password, click on that, and it will insert a password field. Now let's go back to our list view, expand out our form, click on our password field, and on the right-hand side, make sure you set the password field to required, and you can create a label. I, I added one that said create a password for your account. And if you're interested in how to add this checkout form to a landing page or a sales page, be sure to check out other videos that I have here inside the Surecart playlist on the channel. I've already created and released a video all about using the forms on your website. If you have any questions about Surecart or Sure Triggers and Thrive Apprentice, be sure to leave a comment down below. But that'll do it for me in this video. I'm Doug from Convology, and I'll see you in the next one.